A wildlife success story continues to unfold in Florida. Once on the very brink of extinction, the Florida panther is slowly making a comeback. The progress has been captured in a newly released National Geographic documentary. Manuel Bohorkis met the filmmaker along the path of the panther. A panther just walked out. Reclusive and elusive, the Florida panther is often called the ghost cat. To see one, it's either a zoo or the rare and accidental encounter. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy sh I've only ever seen two Florida Panthers in the wild with my own eyes. They're that elusive. They're completely elusive. There could be one looking at us somewhere in these cypress trees right now, no but we'll never see it. This project has been the hardest thing I've ever attempted. Wildlife photographer Carlton Ward has been hunting panthers digitally for 20 years. With elaborate camera traps in the swampy wilds, Ward has captured panther images as never before. The new Nat Geo film intimately showcases the struggle for survival. Panthers need a lot of land. A single male panther needs a home range of up to 200 square miles. That's four times the size of Miami for a single panther. We met Ward at the edge of what's called the Florida Wildlife Corridor, a project he founded. It's a mosaic of still wild and undeveloped land stitched together and occasionally assisted with infrastructure. He says it's the vital link in the panther's survival story. It takes all the adjacent properties working together as a connected whole because it takes the nature preserve and the cattle ranch and the citrus grove and the timber farm and the state forest all together as this connected green space that panthers call home. Human conflict drove panthers to the brink. First, livestock ranchers removed big cats by any means necessary. East of the Mississippi, panthers were eventually driven into a tiny swampy corner of Florida. Next came rampant urban sprawl and the often fatal encounters that came with it. Vehicle collision is number one, but in the last two weeks we have three. The ghost cat almost vanished entirely. In the early 80s and 1990s, there were probably only about 20 to 30 Florida panthers left in the wild. I mean, that's pretty close to extinct. Yeah, it's about as close as you can get. Dave Honorado is a panther biologist with Florida Fish and Wildlife. He's among the conservationists that helped bring them back from the brink. It looks like wilderness, but we're not very far from I-75. No, pumas and panthers are amazingly adaptable, and so they will come up to what we call the urban wildlife interface. But to survive, the cats may need to go further. For decades, the imposing Caloosahatchee River prevented panthers from moving north of the Everglades. And that had been the dividing line for five decades, where no female panthers have been seen north of that river since 1973. So we've had nothing, nothing break the beam since last Friday. But then a small miracle, somehow a female panther north of the river nicknamed Babs. She's amazing. She's a pioneer. She swam the river. For Ward, Babs became an obsession. Why is it so important for you to capture a crystal clear, beautiful image? People connect with beauty. People connect with their hearts and to see the eyes of these panthers and to see the beauty of the habitat and the place where they live. Now, with their numbers creeping above 200, Florida panthers have a new and unlikely ally. Come in. Yes, cattle ranchers, at least some ranchers like Elton Langford. Protecting the panther also protects your way of life. Yes, sir, it does. He says the same development that threatens panthers might make ranchers an endangered species. If you lose in habitat, you lose in everything. You know, if you think about it, we need to do our part as good stewards of the land. Ward hopes the tide may finally be turning. And it's not California, and it's not Texas, it's Florida. Public opposition helped defeat a toll road once proposed right through panther territory. And there has been bipartisan government support and funding for the corridor. And Babs, well, here she is with one of her many cubs. It's believed she's already delivered multiple litters north of that river. I want people to know that this Florida still exists, that we have wilderness and wild places that are as beautiful and inspiring as any place in the world. And then we have animals like the Florida panther that are still out there and need us for their survival. For CBS Saturday Morning, Manuel Bajorquez, Naples, Florida.
Those Path of the Panther is currently streaming on Disney Plus and Hulu. And the Florida Wildlife Corridor is really such an interesting idea that, as many noted, has gotten bipartisan support because, you're, again, you're stitching together all these pieces yeah. of land down throughout Florida. So, And that's remarkable when you think about it. You have government, you have conservationists, you have ranchers, and they're all coming from different points of view, but they're working together. Bipartisan anything. Yes. It's remarkable yes. when you think about it. Yes. I was just going to say, sorry, almost, I jumped on you, Jeff, but those images, he's right. Oh, you see those images. Gorgeous. And they're stunning, and you just connect with them without even realizing it. I jumped on you earlier, so it was... It was payback. <laughs> it was payback. Yeah.